Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rob Unscripted. I don't know, just not feeling it yet. Uh, let's go have some lunch. We're there? We're there? Are we on? Can they hear us? Rob's not going to hear, is he? Okay, let's go. Hi everybody, my name's Steve Better, technical sales engineer for Autodesk UK and Ireland. I'm hijacking Rob Unscripted to be Steve by the seat of his pants. What I want to spend the next few minutes showing you is using Autodesk Inventor how we can share our 2D, 3D information with the rest of the design team. I've got my 3D component that was modeled using Autodesk Inventor. I've also de detailed this as a native DWG file inside of Autodesk Inventor. We've created all of our 2D views, our annotations, section views and detail views. And I want to share this with my project team so they can see exactly what it is I've designed. Now I want to share this information in a small, lightweight, read-only file format so that it can be viewed using Autodesk Design Review, the free of charge viewer that can be downloaded from the Autodesk website. Design Review will allow us to open these small, lightweight, read-only DWF files so that we can view exactly what we've got inside of Inventor. We can see all of the 2D documentation. So this is the DWF file that was published out of Inventor a moment ago but we can also view all of the 3D data as well so you can see I can manipulate the view of the 3D component rotate this around, zoom in, zoom out, pan around etc but as a project engineer I may want to feed back information back to the design engineer about the component that's actually been designed so we can add red line markups directly onto the 2D drawing that was created inside of Inventor and then published out as a DWF file you don't have to spend time printing and plotting off your documentation. You can do this electronically using the free of charge Autodesk Design Review. Apply those red line markups. Apply all of your notes into the red line markups and then share these back electronically with the design engineers. I can save this DWF file, save this back and then back into Autodesk Inventor we don't need to plot this 2D drawing out with the red line markups and have it on our desk to make those changes. I can open the red line markup directly into Inventor. We've got a whole host of file formats that we can open up into Inventor, including CATIA, JT, IGES, STEP, Unigraphics, SolidWorks, etc. But one of those in the files of type list is a red line markup file, which is essentially the DWF file that we've just had open. And you'll see that when I open this into the 2D drawing environment with an inventor, it overlays those red line markups that me, as the project engineer, applied onto our drawing. We've got a true electronic workflow for design review and communication so that the design engineer that's responsible for making these changes can use those red line markups and apply those changes directly onto the model without having to plot or print anything off. And here we're just using the modeling tools inside of Inventor to make the changes specified within the DWF file. In this case, we're making a quick change to the step size from the 5mm to 7mm. But we've used Inventor's intelligent sketching tools to link the dimensional values for the first and second step together. So as we make the change to the first step, changing it from 5mm to 7mm, the second step will change automatically. And this is basically because we used Inventor's intelligent 2D sketching tools to link the parameter values between the step size of one, on one side and the step size on the other side of our component. This means that we're reducing the amount of work that needs to be done by 50% because we're only needing to make one change rather than two changes. You can see that those changes have been propagated onto our documentation. Obviously we've got an associative 2D drawing any changes we make on the 2D on the 3D model will be made on the 2D drawing. We can then reflect those changes back to the DWF file using the status options within the job list on the left hand side we can actually specify that the changes that re were requested via the red line markups have actually been done. We can save these back to the DWF file so that the project engineer who originally created those markups can see exactly what has been done what hasn't been done and anything that needs to be reviewed again. <clears throat> now as a design engineer I'm just making some changes to this 2D drawing. I just want to remove the detailed view 
and place on an isometric view of our base component. I'll just change the scale there so it fits on our drawing sheet nicely. I'm then just going to move some of the annotations around just to make them fit and make the drawing look a little neater. And because I've made these changes, I'm just going to save this DWG file and then publish it back out as a DWF file. Because the guys down on the shop floor may want to see the differences between the two drawings. So I'm saving this out again as a DWF file. And within Autodesk Design Review, I can open up that DWF file that I've just published out of Inventor and then ask Design Review to compare it with the original DWF file. Some of the changes that you make may only be small changes and you don't want to have to spend time and effort looking around for those changes. Just use the compare tools within Autodesk Design Review to view exactly what those changes are. Rob's coming back. What is coming back now? Okay guys, I've got to go. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Steve by the Seat of His Pants. Keep viewing Rob Cohey's YouTube channel for the next time that I'll infiltrate Rob Unscripted. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Chinese food. Hey, what's this?